Hi, my name is Tiagi. It's actually Silver Island Tiagi Rajan, and I live in Bloomington, Indiana. My first contact with the human performance technology or the HPT or the uh, PI, as it was called a long time ago, was in 1961 when I read an article called in Reader's Digest at the local U.S. Information Library in Chennai, India. The article was called How to Learn Twice as Much in Half the Time. And I read another article in the Look magazine about programmed instruction. So I got so excited, I wrote my first programmed instruction manual, and it was uh, sent to Susan Marker, who happened to be one of the biggest influence. Sue Marker got uh, my attempt at the chemistry of uh, chlorine, and she sent me a copy of her book called Good Frames and Bad, and she came to India to conduct a workshop on how to do programmed instruction. She wanted to know what I would like to do the program on, and I said, I'm working with a group on contraceptive techniques. She said, okay, you probably have figured out how to do these things, so I cannot be your programming advisor, but I can be a subject matter expert. So she was very, very helpful and supported my learning mode about human performance technology, and she got me into NSPI, as it was called, in 1963. If people ask me what is a human performance technology, uh, my glib answer is this is something every human being does. If during the last 24-hour period you try to change or improve the performance of somebody else, could be an employee, could be your spouse, could be your boss, could be your dog, except it doesn't work with human performance technology. And usually you want to change other people's behaviors for their own good, then you are a human performance technology. And that is my short, crisp, simple, at the core of a moment, that's all there is to wait. There are other things like results-based, when you're messing with the other people's business, it's always results-based, and you don't know whose result it is. And they talk about it's a systems approach, which I think is wonderfully relevant, things of that nature. I'm currently discussing, researching, working on the topic of how do we do human performance improvement in a participatory fashion, because one of the requirements is that you should always participate with your clients and so on. So when I say participatory fashion, I want a team kind of an approach. I don't want to feel I'm superior to the clients I'm working for or the people whose behaviors I want to change. I enjoy it a lot if somebody comes and says, this is what I want to do, I want to quit smoking, or I want to make a million dollars. After they have identified their goal, I would like to clarify. And I work with a lot of cross-cultural, cross-national, high-performance, high-intensity teams, and that's an area I want to focus. Related to that is my concept, we in the field of human performance technology take ourselves too seriously. My goal is to bring playful approaches to human performance technology. I actually think playfulness is an intervention 
it is a powerful intervention and we got to be able to laugh at our own pretensions. So my motto as a human performance technologist is I take serious things lightly and I take light things seriously. Thank you.